Well, that's a good title screen, isn't it? Jesus, go back and pause that screen. That basically gave a quote from HP Lovecraft and basically said, don't play this if you're a nervous little spaz who's gonna piss his pants, which I am not. I am not a nervous spaz. I've never pissed my pants in my life because I don't wear pants. And who's this man who doesn't wear pants? None other than me, the Invisible Gunslinger. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm here to play a game called Eversion. I've heard it's a really fucked up platformer that is supposed to be really cute, but in reality is really terrifying. It kind of is like a candied apple that has a hooker in it, and the hooker stabs you a couple times before her pimp comes and rubs salt in your wound, and then his mama come in and goes, Honey, you in a world of pain, and then her face opens up into some Cthulhu mythos terrifying... I gotta stop saying terrifying, I'm sorry. The, the word terrifying and horrifying just go hand in hand with this kind of game. So I've heard. I have not played any of this. I don't know what it is. I just... The happy blocks already kind of freak me out, how they don't blink or anything. Um, with the names by Gil Guilherme S. Toes, music by Matthew Stilili, and My Miroslav Malslevic. How can this game not be evil? So anyway, I don't know what to really expect with this game at all. Um, it looks cute, it looks fun, I like the colors of it, kind of reminds me of like a really cheap ass like uh, computer program that you would see on a lot of elementary school uh, computers, you know, those shitty little math blaster games, or the Oregon Trail, which is not shitty in any definition of the word. So anyway, um, all, I looked at the controls and all I've got is left, right, up, down, you know, the basic mouses, and uh, Z is apparently jump, and X is something called eversion. So I'm going to assume it's some kind of super interesting special mode. So anyway, let's get into it. This is Eversion. I have no idea what to expect. Let's just go. Uh, world 1 out of 22. Jesus. I hope I'm not getting into too long of a game here. Ready. I am ready. I'm a little flower child. The X button doesn't seem to do anything. I have no score. This is World 1 of 1. That's alright. Oh, this is looking very Mario-ish. Hey, gems! Ah! Oh, I can't jump on clouds? That's okay. I'm killing these gems. I'm killing these happy blocks. Good. Man, you move pretty damn quick. You move without a lot of resistance here. That's okay. Man, this music is kind of glaringly loud. Can I jump on you? I can! Hold on, what happens if you kill me? Alright. I just wanted to see what would happen if you killed me. It doesn't seem as if I uh, have... What happens if I go down there? Okay, I'm just testing out the game and seeing how it works. By the way, I am sorry if I'm talking a little bit loudly than I normally do. The game, for some reason, uh, comes out very quiet in the recording, but it's pretty damn loud for me. Um, anyway, I like the pink blocks, I like the clouds. These gems look really nice and thick, don't they? They look like uh, big chaos emeralds. If they were made out of uh, pudding. Or like some kind of cherry flavor. Well, that was kind of weird. Ugh. Hey look, standing under this block kind of gives me like a different perspective on the world. Ah. Yeah, the, the background seems to be a little bit lighter blue and the music turns a little bit more fucked up. That's alright. Oh, you guys can't get past these little turds on the ground? Really? That's alright. I do like all these gems. Oh no, I died. No. How will I ever get the high score now? Oh, look at that. My score doesn't change at all. That's nice. So anyway, this is a version. I don't know. This is just kind of a spur of the moment thing. I don't really have anything else that I... Well, I have a whole bunch of things that I could be recording right now, but I just felt like this would be a fun little thing to install and play and, you know. Hmm. Whoa, hello. Pressing the X button does that. What is this? Achievement unlock Deception. So now I can jump on the clouds. Ooh, the, the gems are pink now. Okay, they still die in one hit. My jumping seems a little bit more heavy, or maybe that's just my imagination. Maybe I'm getting paranoid. I actually like the music. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, I slipped off. You see, that's a that's a cute little thing. Ice physics. Well, what do you know? Can we go this way? Can we go all the way back to the beginning of the level and fuck things up? We can. It seems as if our little, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Pressing the aversion button doesn't do anything. Nice music in the back. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. I, I'm getting into this music. Dun, 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 I don't know how the song goes. I mean, look, there's little sticks in the platforms. Okay. All right, I can handle this. I like the pink gems. Ah, you see, now we have to go back. Otherwise, the cloud will stop us. Okay. Classic 
concepts of gaming. <laughs> I scoff at this game and its attempts to be Lovecraftian. And there we go, I'm gonna kill this guy. Haha, -ha, now who's the real monster? World clear! I got all the gems! Yay for me! Press the avert button. Well, sorry, I'm calling it the aversion button. Yeah, this is very NES feeling. I should do like an old school month, which I might just do. Who knows? Ah, you see, we've got to... Okay, we got to activate the clouds. Okay. This game, it's winning me over with its charm. Let's go. God, you should give this... You should indeed give this to a small child and just go, have fun with it, Billy. I'm going to call him Billy. Let's go this way. I'm hitting the aversion button to see if anything's uh, around. Doesn't seem to be. That's okay. Everything's okay in this game. This game is a positive. Ooh, look at this. Difficult platforming. Ooh, enemies. Aha, there's the aversion area. Ah, tricky, tricky, tricky. Ooh, that guy didn't know what hit, what hit him. Aha, I am the flower child who will bring pain and death upon the world. Whee! Hmm, let's go back. Aversion! Oh, those, those happy blocks seem a little bit more like genuinely cheerful. No! Oh, oh, that's me. Okay, so it looks like we can see now that the clouds are hung up by a string. The world in the background is actually made of metal, as everything should be, because metal is awesome and don't let any civilization tell you otherwise. Ah, I see. If we hold down the button, we jump higher if we're killing somebody. Gotcha. There we go. I was wondering about that. Ooh. Ah, we got the V now, so we're spelling out Eversion. Let's go back up there and get that. Oh, but we can't, though, because the guy's not alive anymore. I'll kill myself. This game is already having me suicide, so that, you know, I can get token little letters. Is this game not already evil invoking in me that I have to kill myself to simply get letters? In fact, I'm going to relate to you a dream that I had today. I woke up from this dream. It was... It, 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 well, here's my dream. I haven't told a dream story in a while. So, pretty much, I was at a dream that I was following a girl. I don't. I think in the in the context of the dream, I knew who she was, but I don't know who she was in reality. But I was following a girl, as most men tend to do. Well, either for certain. Whoa! Ah, damn it! For uh, for certain applications of hormones or for applications of makeup, men tend to follow women around and ask for their advice and a lot of different things. So, I was following this woman around in, a, in an Alice in Wonderland style manner, and we went to my old high school, and I saw a lot of my uh, old chums that I hated, and I ended up, I actually did dislike a lot of people in high school, because uh, as you can tell, via me playing games on YouTube, instead of going out and hanging with my friends, I'm a very unsocial person, except when I, I love hearing comments from you guys, so I guess in a way I'm social, unsocial with strangers. Very affectionate of me. So anyway. Oh, there's the music I love. Yeah! I don't care what kind of horrors this game presents me with, this music is kick-ass. Oh yeah. Play this game, everybody. This game is sweet. Hmm, I can't seem to go under there, that's alright. So anyway, I was going around high school and I was flipping a lot of people off that I hated in high school. Because, you know, I just loved it. I would never do that in real life, but I was just having fun old times. I was getting my jollies off, flipping people off. No! Damn it. So anyway, but, uh, shit. There was this area behind the theater building, uh, kind of a back parking lot kind of area, except in my dream, in reality, it kind of tapers off into, uh, like a street. But in my dream, oh, that was kind of a clunky jump. In my dream, what I was doing was, uh, there was a big dirt hill uh, beyond the theater parking lot. And uh, when I went over there, uh, I saw that, like, a whole bunch of other girls, like the girl I was following and a couple other girls, go into this, uh, I'm gonna take a break right now and tell you a little bit more about this dream. So I was going in uh, to follow these chicks, and I go in and there's, like, a big mausoleum under the, uh, under the dirt pile, and it turns out the girls are part of some kind of cult that involves opening up graves and summoning up, like, weird demon people to eat. So I got out of there in a half a second, in a Vulcan minute, if you will, and uh, as I was running out of there, I ran into Leonardo DiCaprio, don't ask me why, I just ran into Leonardo DiCaprio, he looked like he just came
came off the set of Titanic. Like, he literally looked like the guy from Titanic because, oh my god, he actually is the guy from Titanic. And, uh... He was in a rush to go and get to the dirt hill, and I'm like, Leonardo DiCaprio, what's going on? And he's like, I don't know, I just gotta go, I gotta go. And I'm like, okay, ooh. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Erosion. Oh, hey, the place is getting more polluted now. Sweet. I approve of this. Oh, look at them, they're pissed off. I'm not doing this to the world. Ooh, nice music. I'm loving it even more. Oh, jump into the poison water. Jump into that poison goo. Anyway, so I ran into Leonardo DiCaprio, and he actually ended up taking my... No, that's it. I'm sorry. I left my wallet while I was while I was uh, investigating that dirt hill. I had left my wallet in there in a panic. I just ran away, and I'm like, Leonardo, are you going back into that dirt hill thing? And he's like, yeah, I gotta go. I'm like, Leonardo, could you do me a big favor? I left my wallet in there. If you could go and get my wallet for me, that'd be great. And he's like, okay, okay, I gotta go. And intuitively, I knew that he was fucked. Like, I just knew that he was fucked. And, uh, I love how the clouds in the background are not quite held up anymore. That's actually pretty... That reminds me of Mario 3. You know, the whole thing is stage dressing, and now the st stage dressing is falling down. Good social commentary on that. Anyway, uh, as the happy masks of reality are split apart, we are in fact seeing... Oopsie. We're seeing that the industrial wasteland that we live within is not what we hope it to be. Hey, we got all the gems. So anyway, I told Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo, please go get my wallet. And he's like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. And I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna, just gonna finish up this dream. And uh, he ran into the hole, and I knew he was fucked. So I'm sitting in a minivan in the parking lot, hours and hours and hours, I'm waiting for him to come out. And finally, I knew that he was gonna be coming out of the dirt hill. I start backing up, because I'm ready for him now. He hasn't, nobody's shown up yet, but he's coming. And so, I'm in drive, and I'm ready to go, I'm in this minivan that I've never driven before, and suddenly, out of the dark, comes, I just saw it for a second, but somebody threw a hand at me, and the hand had my wallet in it, like a severed hand, and it hit my window, and I'm like, holy shit, I gotta get out of here! And so I throw it into, into drive, and all these hideous, like, these people, they're not people though, they had like, stretched rat faces, it looked like they were half transformed in like, were rats, and they just had these big long noses and huge teeth and they were still human but hairy and they were women and I just, I hit it into drive and I drove straight into a brick wall and somehow driving into the brick wall cut the minivan in half, like the lower half and I'm on the, I'm on the pavement with my guts in the street and these things are like falling onto me, eating me and I swear to god I felt their teeth sinking into my neck and then I woke up and then I decided, you know what, today's a pretty good day to play Aversion. So here I am, that's the story of how I came to be playing Aversion today. I'm a very, very fucked up individual, in case you cannot tell. Hmm. Oh, I get it. There we go. Aha! Leonardo, you will not be staging my gems today. Ooh! Ah, I'm getting through this game without even thinking about it. Hmm. Wait a minute, I get what you were supposed to do. No. Oh, well, there we go. Look it, we go from happiest, to kinda happy, to fucked up. Like, oh man, our, our world's polluted. Why? Where's Captain Planet when we needed him? Desolation. Well, what do you know? Oh, look at how mad they are. Don't be mad at me, guys. Look, they're just eye blobs, that's weird. Nice music in the background, it kind of feels like an Egyptian kind of thing. Ooh, look, we're in Japan now. The uh, the land of the la uh, the setting sun, rising sun. Ooh, hello. We can destroy blocks now, that's nice. We can still kill that guy. Aw. Hmm. How desolate. I can't use the aversion button anymore. Oh wait, yes I can. It's only si That's interesting, it's very situational. Brrr. Our little happy guy here, our little flower, what is going on with him? Why does he see the world like this? What is going on with his reality? We're still running out of gems, we still need a shit ton of gems. Well, oh, look at that block. Why are you getting mad at me, block? It's like, god damn it, I gotta put up with this shit all the damn time. 
Just shut up and give me my gems. Okay. That eyeball thing is very creepy. Go! Damn. I'm gonna get that. Hmm. Damn, that is difficult. That's a difficult damn jump to pull up. Fine, I'll come back to it later. I'm coming back to that later. Happiness, to a degree. Well, it's not death. Hmm. So many gems! Whoa, shit! Uh... The world's falling apart. And that's all that happens. Cool, my world is crumbling before my very eyes. And I say cool to this because the world crumbling crumbling is very cool. Right there. There we go, I get how this game wants me to play it. Kind of. Can I just get to those gems? Oh man, that is... Okay, they reset the blocks, that's okay. So now if I fuck up the puzzle, I can at least do it again. Kill you. Oh, I get what I'm supposed to do. I get it. I think? Maybe? Hold on, there's something very specific I have to do with that. I mean, I don't have to get all the gems, I guess. But I... You know what, no. There's a whole bunch of gems that I missed. Fuck it. I'm, I'm not going for those gems. Let's just run. No! It didn't matter anyway. That's okay. Hmm. I'm trying- I'm really gonna figure this out, though. I can't jump here, in case you're wondering. I don't fully know why I can't jump. Here, I got it now. I've got it. You do that, and then you have to have the guy wa Oh, yeah. I got you, game. We're some patico, you and I. Wait a minute, how did I get up there before? Wait a minute, how the fuck did I get up there before? Oh, I... Yeah. Hey, why are you over there? You have to jump on that guy. Hang on a minute. Is there an aversion station back here? I'm gonna go all the way back. No, that doesn't help me out. I'm gonna get this, damn it. Even if it kills me. Which it very well could. Damn it, I can't progress at all. <laughs> this game really is horrifying. Fine. It's not the desolation of the planet, though. It's the desolation of my soul, knowing that I'm gonna miss gems. Man, I can run pretty damn fast. They're right there! Oh, I think I get it. Here, somebody kill me. There you are, you little scamp. Okay. So he's right there. I gotta time this perfectly. Oh, I almost did! Hold on. I've got how I gotta do this. Let him run. Come back. Oh, these gems are insidious. Okay, now we just gotta wait for him to bounce all the way back. Wait for it. There. That's gotta be it. Close, he's coming back. Okay, so let's just count to two. One, two, go! Ah! That's like half a second, okay. I'm gonna get this. No, he's so close! Now that's half a second. I'm distorting the s- Oh, no! No! But I see how to do it. I get what you want from me, game. I just have to do it. It's so- Oh, that's- Hellishly ironic. He's right there. I will waste all of our lives doing this. Come on, I've got it. There. No, so close though. So what does this guy get to? He gets to that block. That's it. There! I did it! Yay! 
Yes! I am so freaking accomplished. Yeah! Got it. 